sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. Okay, we put out a poll on our Instagram to find out what people would rather see. It was between the third floor and the barn slash outhouse. And the third floor narrowly won. It's pretty close. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show the third floor. But we will do a barn video soon. So anyway, here we are, here's Micaiah. So what are we looking at here? So basically I closed this off with insulation so we didn't have to heat the upstairs or the third floor. Um, because we're heating exclusively with wood, so. So this was just to keep the heat from going up to the third floor, because right. the third floor has no heat, and the third floor has no electricity, but this is the second floor heading up to the third floor. And this here is a door that goes outside to the roof. Here we go, if you can see that. It's just a roof. There is light in here. But there was a balcony out here years ago, and I will show you. There's a picture that I'm going to share with you shortly, um, and you'll be able to see this door. But it currently goes nowhere. And there is electricity here in the hallway. There's this, this fixture and this fixture, and this is what it looks like from this angle. And here's the banister. And this stairwell is pretty steep, and this does look original. Whereas the banister that goes from the first floor to the second floor has been um, updated. It looks like probably in the early 1900s. They took out what was old, but this definitely looks original. So, all right, let's go up the stairs. Do you want to leave, Micah? Okay. okay, so there's a few of these up here in the ceiling. And Makai's gonna explain kind of what they were. Well, I mean, when I first saw them in the photographs, I thought, wow, they had skylights. And then I said, no way, you know, not in the 1800s, they didn't have skylights. But although it's possible, um, they were more likely vents because I would imagine in the summertime, it gets really hot up here. And of course, in the wintertime, it's cool. But um, in the summertime, they probably just open these up to circulate some air through the building. Okay, we're just gonna start from the furthest room all the way to the, if you were standing outside in front of our house, this room would be all the way to the left. And we'll, I'll do a little video outside to kind of show you what the outside looks like of the upstairs. But this room was a room that my daughter actually stayed in when she first moved here several months ago. But it's too cold up here now. There's no electricity and there's no heat. But this is the only closet, literally, like, I think in the whole house. So I feel like somebody was living up here at some point. Why would there be a closet here? I want to restore some of these. Uh, these doors. Yeah, look at how, how low it is to the lock. So now we'll work our way down the hallway. And there again, there's no electricity. Oh darn, honey, you probably should have brought a, um, a flashlight, but that's all right. I guess we'll see enough. Ta-da, it's a lantern. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I just found it. <laughs> and it everyone, works. I think everyone had it. Oh, let's show them this, honey. This is a very interesting piece yeah. here. This is a trap door that leads into the ballroom from the third floor. Look at this. What do you think this was used for? Yeah, we need to know. This, we, we speculate that maybe there was a movie projector up here or this was just like observation for the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one, no. Yeah. I mean, there was Underground Railroad uh, history up here, but that just seems pretty obvious of a trap door. All right, so let's make our way down to the next room to the right. These floors. Here's 
the next room, this is where uh, Janet stayed, friend from Hawaii when she came up. And then there was something here. This is a, this is a chimney. into a chimney there. So there must have been some sort of heating source in here at one time that was shared. That's the main chimney. Yeah. So it was, it was into the main chimney. This is the attic. So there's an attic space up there. Yep. This is probably a living closet here. Right, there was some sort pretty of pretty good closet. size. Oh, this. Those are square nails. Oh, cool. So people, maybe this was a closet where people hung things or kept their yeah. luggage. Who knows? Yeah. Did he even have luggage? It's old. It's very old. We haven't even really been in here. No, this room. There's another uh, vent. Very small room oh, here. It goes all the way in. Like the space wow. back there. Well, it goes all the way down. Yeah. Wonder why it's we the, we wonder why we have bath issues. Right. <laughs> and that goes right up to the attic. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I need to insulate. So it's a teeny room, no window. I can imagine how comfortable it was to stay in here. Do I head back down? Yeah, there's a there's a um. You think maybe there was here. a stove there? No, I really don't know where the stove was. I mean, that's the most likely place. I mean, look at look at that. Right, so there's a spot here that clearly looks like there must have been a stove here at one time. Because there's this, what, what seems to be some type of uh, platform. And there was a chimney over here. Must and been. a couple holes in the wall. So there was some heat up here at one point. I wonder if they had a cold air intake in that blower or some kind and blew hot air into these rooms. There's no electricity, so where'd the blower come from, honey? You sure? I don't know. There's no electricity up here. You don't see any. There yeah, never not was. now. Do you, but do you see any signs of old electricity? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so here's another room. They all look pretty much the same. They're all kind of falling apart. The floors are beautiful. Plaster walls, and then another one across here without a window, and also one of those vents on the ceiling. Honey, can you use the lantern in here? Yeah. It's not very bright, but no. I guess it does the trick for a night light. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow! It goes right up into the attic. I think. And these beautiful old doors. These old locks. You got a lock on the other side? Because yeah. the hardware is, is missing. Yeah, but there is a lock on this side. One of those uh, lock boxes and latches. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So this is the way looking back. So how many rooms are up here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus that closet.
we had really bad weather up here though. It was uh, icy to the point where the roads were covered in ice and cars couldn't go anywhere. It was horrible. So we stayed home, but then we went to my brother's house the next day and we had a beautiful day. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, kind of give you a little background on the third floor because we wanted to show it to you and kind of tell you our plans, which is, it's a huge space as you can see and there's a lot of rooms and it'd be wonderful if we could totally restore the whole third floor and maybe you know who knows one day maybe we might but it's not priority for us we look at it as um, if we can keep the rain out so the roof would be nice and we keep the windows good that it's just a space um, maybe for the future for maybe future owner or whatever we're not going to take anything out we're not we're going to leave it as is and maybe use it as an attic space because the barn that we're currently using is, might end up being part of my husband's workshop, but that's for another video. We'll show you that um, on another video. But anything that you want to add, honey? No, I, I think I, I agree with everything you said. Just, um, you know, our main focus is going to be the structure of the building and what we're living in right now, basically. And then beyond that, I don't know, I guess we're just going to do the best we can with it. Right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because so many of you on Instagram also liked uh, wanting to see the barn and it was really, really close. We'll be doing a barn video soon. So thanks guys.